Hi everybody, it's Renee from Wanna Scrap and I'm here today to share with you a flip book that I made in a shabby purple color. Um, this is for a swap with Marjoline Bussink and I'm way behind on this. Um, we decided that I would do our shabby project for her flip book and she's going to do a doodle bug one for me so I'm really excited to see what she's done. And I'm so sorry, Marjoline, that this is uh, a month overdue. <laughs> but, um, you know, the reasons with uh, Steve and his heart attacks. So, um, but lately I've been crafting at night. I brought a lot of stuff up to my living room area. So um, this is how I was finally able to get finished in, just in the last week. So I'm really excited. I was doing a video of uh, the whole process but um, since this heart attack, I, I stopped and I found it hard to get back into it. So anyways, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at this. Uh, this is layered with um, some purpley cardstock. I don't really have a lot of purple designer paper. So I, um, and it was kind of really bright. So I toned it down a bit with some um, stenciling and uh homemade uh, texture paste and I put a die cut of a bench here and this is just a sticker from the Dollar Tree and this is a little tassel that I hauled recently and these bows are from the Dollar Tree and this is from Dollarama this beautiful pearl trim and this bling piece I ordered on AliExpress and this lace was gifted to me from Dale who's addicted to nail art and crafts here on YouTube so thank you, Dale, and uh, this is one I ordered from eBay a while ago, and this is just another sticker from my stash. On the side here is a, uh, it was a three-pack of necklaces that I got from the Dollar Tree for children, and it came with a purpley, a pinky one, and like a greeny one. So I just cut it apart and used it as a bling along here. Um, this little rosette here was gifted to me from uh, Beauty and Brains Girls here on YouTube, who is Florita. So thank you, Florita. And I got um, a bow here that I made um, with some purpley ribbon that I got. And I just applied a uh, pearl from my stash here. And on the back, I just got it layered again with some handmade, homemade um, texture paste. This is a um, sticker piece. I got to glue down better. <laughs> and this is some lace that I got from the, actually this one I ordered from eBay a while ago. And uh, this one I got from Dale. And then there's some more of that purpley trim. I did a ribbon closure, which I layered with some lace so that when you lay it down, laid it open, you'll be able to see the lace over top. And I'm just gifting her this uh, purpley flower. Her favorite color is purple. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Um, and I just put in some uh, pearl bling that I have and some pink. I don't really have too much purple left. Otherwise, I would have gifted her some purple too. And this is how it opens up. And uh, I'll just get to this one. This is a side tuck with some laces layered here and this is just one of those uh, rubbery lace stickers that I put there and I just made an envelope with a perfume bottle and fussy cut around a little rose and I put it together with some um, velcro dots and I just gifted a couple of uh, the perfume bottles and um, Eiffel Tower die that I just received recently. I was so happy to finally get that. It just tucks back inside. And then we'll go this way. This is a piercing tool that I said I would pick up for. I've seen other ones before, but I couldn't seem to find them. So I hope this will do for you, Maya Line, for poking out the small pot spots on your die cuts. It's a fine and medium point needle. So hopefully you'll find that handy. And I have a rosette here, which I won actually from So Scrappy 79 here on YouTube a while ago. I've been hoarding them forever. So I still got a couple of little purple ones left. 
which I'm excited to use them. And it came on top of this mesh trim, which I just left here, and some of the lace, and a couple of doilies I cut up there. And in here, I just placed some um, birthday hats that I had hauled recently. Thought I'd share some, some of these beautiful butterfly stickers, and this really cute little birdie die. I ordered a couple of them so I can gift some. And then on this pocket here, I just got some more lace layered. It's got an accordion fold there. I made a tag. And, oh, my tag has a pocket. That's where I'm going to put the birdie die. And I just gifted her uh, the last of the necklace here and um, some of these purpley things here. So yeah, I'm going to put the die in there, that way it'll sit flatter. There we go, perfect. And, I'll, and this was gifted to me, I believe, from Donna Dreams times three. Um, so I thought I'd reuse it in this because it went along perfectly. And then over here, I just made, put together some tags, stick a little all around the edges there. And just put some together here and layered some, a little bit of leftover lace and trim and whatnot that I had. And this is really cute ribbon. I just think it's so adorable. It's like little duckies on it. So I thought I would gift her some of them. So that all just tucks back in there and I just made the little belly band. And it is a little bit bulky. I tried to accommodate for the bulk, but it still came out bulky. And I tried to design it in such a way that she could still put some pictures in there. And then I made a little, um, oh, I gotta glue that down a bit better. Um, one of those, um, uh, I made a three by four meandering book. And it's all made out of one uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I just made some tags for it here pockets, place for photos, more photos, there's tags, and this is a uh, belly band here. These are pockets, and then just a policy uh, vellum envelope there. And then the last thing I put together for her was a Purplicious U. I didn't have enough beads to do. You are beautiful. I'm missing my O. Oh. Okay, I'll definitely have to fix that. I'm glad I caught that. I used one of those little butterflies there. This is from the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, I got my nails done. Aren't they pretty? I think they're just so gorgeous. And she even trimmed them all down to uh, be as long as my shortest nail. So. It's very deceiving though. I keep thinking they're longer than they are and they're not. <laughs> but I just had to share that. They're so pretty. And so yeah, I, I layered one of these doilies, which I believe I got from Donna Dreams times three, or it was Art B. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one, but it's beautiful. I wasn't sure if I'd ever use a purple doily, but it went perfect on this little collage of flowers here. So and that's the stick pin that I made, and I layered a flower, and yeah, I made this bow, so I thought it came together so pretty. So that is my shabby purplicious project for Mario Line bus sync, so please do not watch Mario Line if I put this up beforehand, and I'm hoping to get this in the mail tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I hope you like it, and thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day. Bye for now.